Day 35, we woke up in the Mark Spencer Hotel. Um, by far the nicest place I've stayed so far. Uh, and we had a little breakfast uh, and some avocado toast. So took full advantage of that. Had like four of those uh, and one of those little electronic coffee makers. So um, yeah, I got our money's worth out of breakfast. Uh, and then uh, actually we had, to, we had to move the car anyway. So we decided to spend the morning driving out of the city, even though we had just gotten there and checking out Lewis and Clark College and Reed College, which are both in the outskirts. Um, both super nice. Lewis and Clark is kind of like crunchy, very like environmentally focused. Um, I think they use like 100% renewable energy and a lot of the um, like landscaping is, uh, well not landscaped, it's just like natural. Um, definitely like a, a hugely crunchy school, but really cool and had a nice little um, park that was a garden that had a view of Mount Hood in the distance, um, and uh, Reed College was super nice as well. Um, I think more liberal artsy, uh, but beautiful campus. Um, we checked that out, got to see some of the suburbs around there. There were some really nice houses. We headed back in the city. A um, little directionless at first. I was like, we really, I had no planning done uh, for the coming days because I just hadn't, I, I didn't know what was going to happen with the car and then we just kind of plan it by year from there. So I wanted to hash out some kind of a sketch for what we would do in the um, next four or five days. Um, so I went to a coffee shop, um, figured that out while my mom walked around some. I felt a little bit less anxious after getting all that done, um, and then I grabbed some food from a food truck. Uh, and then I met up with my mom at Pioneer Courthouse Square, uh, kind of the town center. Walked around a little bit, went to the um, Portland Public Services building, which is kind of a architecturally pretty famous building. Um, a lot of people in the town think it's ugly. A lot of people in general think it's ugly, uh, including me. But it's, uh, it's a big deal because it's one of the most classic examples of um, postmodern architecture. The architect was Michael Graves, uh, and along with Venturi, he was, he's kind of one of the preeminent uh, postmodern architects. Um, he kind of plays superficially with different forms and shapes um, rather than uh, focusing on something like tectonics or um, integration with the landscape like Frank Lloyd Wright might. Um, they were kind of reacting to the modernist movement I had talked about a little bit in one of my prior videos, probably the Chicago video uh, when I was discussing Miss Van Der Rohe, uh, which really emphasized simplicity. Um, reduction to essential elements, uh, machine aesthetic, very, very much focused on like steel and glass and concrete and uh, modern materials. Um, so anyway, I checked that out, just kind of checked, the, checked it off the bucket list and then um, we rented bikes, uh, biked around town 
We rode out to the waterfront and spent most of our time there. Um, kind of weird. Uh, there's a lot of homeless people. Uh, just a, the slogan, keep Portland weird, is truer than I might have expected. Uh, it's not like still, it was interesting to check out um, the waterfront area and uh, the area across uh, the other side of the river. did that uh, rode back towards um, the Northwest District, which is where we were parked, and um, got up there and stumbled upon a little like street festival type thing. Uh, they closed off a few blocks and um, they had, you know, street vendors and um, people playing instruments and singing and um, that kind of thing. So we went to a little happy hour uh, on the street there. I did a little, like Red Bull had this um, race set up with like a little motor scooter uh, and you had to ride it around this track three times and I think there was a prize involved. I think I should have gotten a prize but we never went back to, to claim it. Uh, anyway, it was fun. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just walked around some more, went to Powell City of Books. Um, I really like that whole Pearl District Northwest area. Um, Powell City of Books was amazing. It, it really is a city of books. It's huge. Um, I got myself a couple. And uh, we headed out from there, went and got some more food, and then um, walked around some. Uh, went and got ice cream at Salt and Straw, which was amazing. It's this, uh, I guess, I mean, chain, but it only has a few locations. Um, like, I think there's one in LA, and I, I don't even know where else. Um, but yeah, it's all like local ice cream, um, local flavors, uh, and so I was, I was kind of I was kind of an original. I got the coffee and the almond brittle. Uh, I never really veered too much for my standard flavors, but uh, it was really good. And uh, I stayed at the Northwest what, Portland Hostel, Portland Northwest Hostel, something like that, uh, which was amazing. Actually, one of, if not the best hostel I've stayed in so far. Um, well, I think I think up there were Shady Spruce Hostel, Missoula, and uh, the one in Duluth. But uh, anyway, really nice hostel and. Uh, by far, like the most people actually it's like socializing in the hostel center that I've seen so far. Um, there was someone like playing guitar and singing, which was cool. Uh, I was up late doing laundry, so I was kind of sitting in the common area reading my book and, and hearing people talk and whatever. Um, so yeah, my mom went in a hostel experience, so she got it, um, and she got a great one.